my students. How are you all? So I am Dr. Ramisri, your Afghan guru. So I hope your preparation is going on very well. So now INI seat is in November, so going to come, and uh, we are all ready for the NEET as well as for FMG exam. In this session, I'm going to show and discuss one small images, and we're going to discuss about those images. So two important images, a small bite of the uh, images we are going to observe in this session. Okay. So what do you think is this anomaly? So actually speaking, there are two things which you have to observe which are defective here. So first and foremost, if you observe the NT scan, the knuckle translucency is around 5 mm. And apart from that, in the midline, you're seeing the abnormally something bulging out from the from around the umbilicus. So most of the time we get confused between two options here. One is gastrochesis. Next is umphalocele. So one is gastrochesis and another is umphalocele. So how are you going to differentiate between the gastrochesis and umphalocele? And an answer which is a, which is which of the following is it? So if you observe closely in the image, remember guys. O looks like umbilicus. So umphalocele, umphalocele comes from umbilicus, arises from umbilicus. Whereas gastrochesis arises from right side of the umbilicus. So umphalocele, umphalocele arises from umbilicus. Gastrochesis arises from right side of the umbilicus. Right. So next, O looks complete. O is a complete circle. Uh, so, umphalocele has sac. Sac is present. G has an opening. So, gastrochesis has no sac. In umphalocele, you can have bowels plus liver coming out. Bowels and liver can come out. In gastrochesis, it is mainly the bowels which come out. 50% of the umphalocele is associated with other anomalies. Gastrochesis is not associated. So, gastrochesis, you can do vaginal delivery. Umphalocele, you can either do vaginal or cesarean. Gastrochesis, as the bowels are outside, depending on how much bowels are damaged, and how much gangrenous part is there, the prognosis depends on the bowel's condition. And gastrochesis requires immediate surgery. After the baby is born, it requires an immediate surgery. Whereas umphalocele, we can wait. So this has no sac. You can see irregular masses coming out from the umbilicus. Right? Can you see there is irregular masses coming out from the umbilicus? So as you are able to see there are irregular things coming out from the umbilicus and there is no sac, sac in this. So this is nothing but the gastrochesis. Okay? And this also has increased NT, NT knuckle translucency. Nasal bone is also not visible if you observe. So normally you should see nasal bone like two parallel white lines. So you don't see the nasal bone also in this picture. Now see the next picture. So this one is an omphalocele. So see here, there's a sac covering. It's arising from the umbilicus. It's regular. So whenever there is a sac, it is arising from the umbilicus. You can go for omphalocele. So again, in this picture also, if you observe, there's an increased NT. So these are probably associated with some other anomalies also because you are seeing the increased NT, knuckle translucency, right? So, knuckle translucency scan is also important, guys. So, NT scan is usually done between 11 to 14 weeks, 13 weeks plus 6 days. Then, crown rump length is between 45 to 84 mm. NT should be less than 3 mm to call it as normal. And in the NT scan, you should always see the nasal bone should be present. Right? So, here, nasal bone should be two parallel lines. Two parallel lines. Here you are not seeing the nasal bone and there is increased knuckle translucency. There is definitely an increased uh, NT, right, knuckle translucency. And regarding, so I think these two images are pretty clear to all of you now. So when you have a midline defect but 
it is irregular not covered by a sac then it is the gastrochesis so as the bowels are directly exposed outside prognosis depends on how much bowels are damaged next in omphalo seal there is a sac covering there is a sac covering and so depending on so as there is a sac covered usually the prognosis is not very bad you can do the surgery after the delivery and it doesn't require an immediate surgery but sometime along with bowels you can have the liver also coming out but omphalo seal can be associated with other malformations also omphalo seal can be associated with other malformations also right so uh, regarding the ultrasounds usgs in pregnancy first trimester you do a scan which is helpful for dating the pregnancy by using the crown rump length it can also tell you the viability it will tell you about the site of the pregnancy any associated conditions also can be visible in this so this is usually done between 6 to 10 weeks then we have the nt scan which is done between 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks which can tell us about the aneuploidies the most important scan in the pregnancy is the tifa scan guys so tifa scan is targeted imaging for fetal anomalies targeted imaging for fetal anomalies so here it tifa scan is the anomaly scan which is usually done between 18 to 20 weeks of gestation It into twenty two weeks up to twenty two weeks. So usually all the anomalies are picked up in this TIFA scan or anomaly scan or level two targeted scan it is. So this is the most important scan. So in the tri third trimester you do the scan that's called interval or growth scan. So interval or the growth scan will help you the will help you to know the growth of the baby as well as it will help you to know the estimated fetal weight. So this interval or growth scan or the estimated fetal weight. can be assessed by measuring the abdominal circumference right so this here i just discussed a uh, two images to all of you so like this at one place i'll be compiling and discussing all the images so i try to cover all the images from the obstetrics as well as gynecology through the wipe so that will be definitely beneficial to all of you guys as well i'll also be practicing mcqs for all of you on the youtube itself from the coming month so that you will be well versed before you go to your inct right anything else or uh, you know any any particular topic which you want me to discuss please feel free to message in the comment box i'll definitely go through it and i'll try to do it for you all as well uh, so i think uh, you're all happy with the updates so i just uh, sent you the brief compilation of the updates and if you have not watched the updates Uh, which we have released in the youtube so please watch the updates as well as the new partogram which is called who labor care guide that's also i have put it in the youtube free for all so please watch that that's also very very important so all the best guys keep studying very very important that you all study very well and uh, give your 100% thank you so much guys thank you so much